What have you done to prepare for the, this job? Okay, I've, I've been through some of the departments at the courthouse, um, more on phone than in person. I do um, go over to the courthouse um, kind of like at least a couple times a month due to the fact that I'm a tax collector. So I, I have more and better of an opportunity to, to you know, go in the atmosphere to, to meet with people. Mm -hmm. um, and I would uh, talk to like different departments to see how they feel with um, how their their departments run, if there's anything that you know they might think that could be um, changed, just to get some ideas of what everyone does, to see if there's kind of kind of looking at to the fact that if there's any kind of consolidation that could be made somewhere down the line, not to um, not to get rid of anyone, just to to look at that you know if the, maybe this department does the same thing as that department or something like that. Um, so, so what, what's the reaction then from the people that you've spoken to? Well, they, they, they're all very, very friendly, very helpful. Um, most of them, you know, just, it seems to me like from what I, I see is that the county lacks a lot on um, technology. Technologies, they are not up to date on a lot of things that could be more efficient to be done. Um, but but the people themselves are very good and they're very helpful. I didn't have any anyone that was upset with me or anything like that, you know. Have you had a chance to attend any of the transition committee meetings? I have, but I didn't get to go as much as I would like to, only because I'm a tax collector and that's it's my um, when I'm collecting at night. And then of course it became my busy time of um, with the rebate time of the year, so it got really busy. So there was times I couldn't. I don't have a deputy. And, and if I had a deputy, it'd be a little bit easier because then I would be able to go and then I would be able to have the deputy collect for me. But since I don't have that, I don't have that option. But I did make quite a few of them and to keep up. And when I don't, I try to go online and read what you know anybody says. And there's people that I know that do go and I try to ask them what had happened just so I keep, keep up with it. Do you have a sense of whether the, that the transition is on pace with where it needs to be? Uh, I believe there's maybe some areas maybe they're a little lack behind, but that's you know accountable for like what like this is all new, so everybody's learning. Not everybody knows how everything should go together. They're all trying to figure out. It's a big puzzle, and it's understandable. But I think they're doing a good job. Uh, if, if you're elected, you're uh, elected to the council. How much time do you expect to spend uh, working toward that on that council? Well, I did think about that because since it's a part-time, and in the beginning, especially, I think it's more of a full-time job it's going to be, so I thought to myself, how could any citizen or anyone contact me that maybe they have an idea or a problem or an issue? Because, I mean, you know, you're not going to have a secretary or nothing like that to be sitting there answering the phones for you, so I thought of maybe getting like a track phone. This way, you know, I have a cell phone that could leave a message if I can't answer it, but they can get in contact me because, um, like, I, oh, I won't be home. I live a distance from here, so it's not like I could, by the time I get home and get their message, it could be very late at night and I can't get back to the person if it's something that's, you know, important or something. But, um... Do you want to have a, a presence in the courthouse on a, in a weekly basis? Do you think that's what you, should, you would be doing? Well, I think there should be somewhere based there that you can go as, as needed, but I think, yeah, you should, you know, try to be in contact as much as possible. But I mean, I understand. Like, I'm a full. I have a full-time job during the day, so that would be a little bit hard to do. That's why I, I feel that if I had a, a track phone and I paid for it out of my own pocket, um, you know, because you can use that as a write-off towards your taxes. That this way they can contact me if I needed to be there, and um, you know, I have a little bit more flexibility, being that I'm an office manager, that I could kind of a little bit come and go easier than, you know, most people that have to be at their position and they can't be taking time off or leaving, you know. I guess back to my original question, how much time do you think you're going to have to devote to this, the job? Um, well, I can't really say, but I would, I would assume a lot, only because, like, just like, you know, I'm a tax collector, it's considered part-time. I put a lot of hours in. I, I'm working until 2, 3 in the morning sometime because I'm trying to get caught up on things that you have to research and find out because it's not just an easy process all the time to get through it. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty of things like that that's going to happen with the county. If you were serving on council, would you vote to approve the appointment of a relative to a county authority, board, or commission? 
No. Is there a skill or area of expertise that you would bring to council, something that you do specifically that you think would help? I think my finance background. I believe that since I have over 20 years of experience with banking, um, with, I had it in corporate trusts, commercial loans, finance and investments, but I, d I handled budgets, bonds, um, loans, pension plans, and, and also I've been learning a lot about um, uh, let me think with my husband's a he works with the fire department he's a president and they do a lot of grants that's what I'm trying to look for grants and so I learned how that all works too and I that would be a good asset too for the county so knowing how the, they work you can bring that to the table to help one of the issues that comes up is uh, uh, benefits for county workers um, people talk about that a lot do you think there's a uh, what do you think the reasonable benefit packages or, for example, a reasonable number of vacation days um, for, for county workers? Um, well, I think some of it could be maybe tweaked down a little bit. I think some is a little bit, like for um, sick time maybe, is, is a little bit too high. But that's something you can work out and um, come to agreement on, I believe. On the, on the subject of sick time, uh, do you think they should be allowed to be carried over from year to year and then paid out? I, well, I think to a point, but not, because I've I'm, I'm been hearing there's a lot that banked a lot, but I, I, I like the idea that maybe you can give it to um, someone that's maybe very ill and they don't, they can't, they're not going to be working and they don't get any um, benefit, so your benefit could go to them if you want to. I think that's a good idea, but. Any questions for Do you, what do you feel the county's responsibility is to funding outside organizations such as libraries? Um, for the county, um, I honestly, I don't. I, I would see that being more like for funding as a grant towards the library, but as um, it would matter what the issue is to come across to see at the time, like what kind of funding there is and maybe availability to help them or whatever. I mean, I'm not against it, I, I wouldn't say, but I mean, I would try, I would rather see maybe, like, I'm big for grants and stuff, anything for, to help out instead of using a big cost. Yeah. Do you have any, any position on, on this recreational facilities like Moon Lake Park? Um, that, that's been an issue for the county. Yes, I would like to see Moon Lake be open again and I would like to, I think that, you know, um, like I said again, I don't mean to keep on bringing this up, but being with grants, the grants, there's a, there's a lot out there that's available. People don't even realize sometimes that um, can, can be used towards that. And then you have the county workers. There could probably be, you can probably use them as um, towards the park instead of bringing new employees in, you know, like for maintenance or, or something. And, you know, do part-time more so you don't have to have a huge expense. Is there a particular issue that you would bring to the council, something that you you're, have a concern about? Um, well, I would just like to see everybody try to um, work on like the, the budget. I mean, that's the, that's the big issue of the county. So why do you think uh, there might be grants out there that haven't been tapped into by uh, predecessors? Well, not, oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I honestly didn't look into that direction. But I do know, like, um, I can say with my husband working with the, the fire department, there's grants that they'll find out that they didn't even know existed. And, you know, so they're, they'll get more into it. And then it's, it's better if you can get a wide variety of, um, like, like, for instance, like with the fire companies, they try to keep on contact with all the fire companies and saying, hey, you know, we're kind of looking for this. Do you know if there's any kind of grant or any availability out there that we can look at before, like, we have to do a fundraiser or try to come up with the money ourselves so this way it could, that would be a big help? And, and there actually is some that maybe they'll say, yeah, that is, but that's not something that's really brought out. We don't, they don't tell everybody that, you know, because that's just so, I mean, there could be that way. That's, you know, what I'm saying is that's a possibility. Do you envision Signing a county employee or someone to be almost like a, a grant coordinator or someone to specifically look for grants to make sure somebody's. Well, I think that would be a good idea. I, I don't see a problem with that. I mean, that is, that is you know, um, 
kind of a big job, but I mean, it would. I would think if there's people that are in a department that um, could maybe a couple of them once in a while, like that would be a not a full time, but to look at them and because you really need the expertise to read them because there's a time frame and money has to go back. You 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 could get the money, but you have to use it for certain things. You have to itemize it, um, and, and you have it. You know, if you don't use it at a certain time, you lose it. So you know, I mean, that's but you have to be up on it constantly, and it's a lot of paperwork. It really is. They can, and they can be complicated. Very complicated, yes. And if you don't read between the lines, and if you they, they'll just you know say, oh, sorry, you won't accept it because you didn't have this out, and you have a time frame. But you know that that's would be a good thing if somebody was more up on how to read grants and that. If you were elected to council, would you want to serve as chairperson, and if not, what characteristics would you be looking for? In Chair. Um, I didn't. Never thought about that one, but I would. I would say, um, my my uh, myself. I'm. I wasn't looking at being a chairperson. I'm. I'm not against a doing that, but I would rather see somebody maybe that has more. Oh. Uh, um, the right word I want to say. Like I, I'm familiar, I, I'm f more familiar with all finance. Maybe somebody that has more. Um, uh, how do I want to say it? I can't think. Like um, broader overview. Yeah. Thank you. I can't think. Sorry. Given the media interest in county government, what do you think is the appropriate way for the council to communicate with the news outlets, not just the Times Leader, but all? Outlets. Should be a designated person? Should council be able to speak? Should individuals on council speak to the media? Um, what are your thoughts on that? I honestly never thought about that. I would think maybe, maybe one person so everybody knows. But I, I honestly didn't think about that. So I, I wouldn't have a problem, but with everybody. But I, maybe I would say maybe one designated person. That way everybody knows and. I, I'm not, not sure. Um, how's your campaign going? What, what have you done differently this time than, than primary? Um, I just I'm trying to get out more with the people. I was through the summer. I was going to like different picnics and bazaars and um, trying to um, just just get out there more. And I didn't really spend any money on. I didn't have to spend any money on signs. I did that in the primary, so I just ca um, carry that over. And just um, I kept up like um, with cards and things like that, but um, basically it's not too much change. I mean, I just try to get out there more. I, and I was out there more before. I can't say I didn't. Like every night, I'm out there to two to three events or every night. I try to fit that in somehow. And of course, like with my jobs, I can't always be where I would like to be. That, that you know that has a conflict there too. But how much do you plan to spend the general election? I. Um, as of right now, I probably spent uh, maybe 300, but I am having a fundraiser next week, so I, I, um, that it goes by how many people show, so I couldn't tell you. Have, have you been accepting donations? I, I, I don't ask for them. If somebody offers to give me them, I will take them, but I'd say probably I only have maybe like four or five hundred dollars, maybe nothing, because that's not something I. I'm asking for, you know, and just trying to do it on my own. And Where's your fundraiser going to be? It's going to be in Plymouth at the Shawnee, Shawnee, Shawnee Room and, yeah, yeah Happy, Happy Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Good place. Been there many times. Um, okay. Uh, have you worked, thought about working with any other candidates as far as teaming up or? Um, well, I never really, well, I just, like the Democratic Party, basically, and when we go to the events, we see each other and stuff like that. It's, um, there's no one in particular that I just say, okay, you know, let's constantly go together here and there and stuff. But um, I'm friends with just about all of them. I like th like them all, and you know, it's pretty good at that. You know, getting out. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything we haven't asked you about? Um, well, I would like to say one thing. I was asked at a previous interview regarding how I felt about the levy fee. Mm -hmm. And I would like to, um, at the time when I was asked that, I wasn't really 
sure on my answer what I should say on that, but I looked into it, and I would like to clarify that mm -hmm. when I, I looked into it, I, I believe that um, it should be that the people that are protected by the levies are the ones that should pay. And the reason why I say that is because being from down in Makanakwa, they were not um, offered to, well, they, I shouldn't say offered, they, they, they did not um, apply, for, or not apply. The levy, they, they believe that they didn't need the levy down there. That's what I'm trying to say. And because of that reason, they used to only get flooded. Most of the people would get flooded in their basements and a little bit of their first floor. So they felt that they didn't need the levy down there. And because now that the levy is here, and because of the, the flow of the water, they got six more feet than they should have. So I feel that the people, why should they have to pay when they were affected when they weren't ever affected before? And so I looked at it a whole different direction, and that's how I, I feel on that. Any questions for you? I was just going to ask, why weren't you at the forums? Was there scheduling? Because of scheduling. The first one, actually, I, I called and I told them that I would probably be around an hour late because of collecting taxes that night. And when I got there, it was already over because it was supposed to last until 9, and it was over after, like, I got there it was maybe like 10 after 8, and one of the other candidates were walking out and said, oh, it's over. And I was like, great. So then I called the lady to tell her that I wanted her to make sure I was there, that I told her. Now, the other one had happened with my other job that I, I couldn't be there because I had um, an estate account that came in, and it was from out of town. I messed up on my dates. I thought it was that Wednesday, and it was Monday, and then it just so. And I didn't get out of there until almost 8 o'clock, too. That's the only reason why. I think at the second one they asked a question about the manager. What would you do to make sure that the manager uh, could perform his or her job? Uh, did you have a thought on that? How they how would they perform it? Um, I, I I would want them to be. Um, let me think. Communication is my, my biggest factor. I, I believe if you don't communicate with everyone, then um, no job will get done the proper way or right way. And um, I, I feel that the manager should be able to, to tell everyone what's going on so everyone knows. Um, but, I, you know, not to interfere with, with the one-on-one, with the, um, -on -one, I mean, the day-by-day the -day operations is. Because, like you know, he's going to be he or she's going to be involved in so much going on there. That, but if the council knows things that are happening, they would be able to um, to help where they need to help. 